Insider threat is a big topic these days, and companies need to build insider threat programs to contend with the risk, either intentional or accidental, that comes from the inside. Our company? It's no different. And part of having an insider threat program is providing employees, you, a basic understanding of insider threats within the organization and what our expectations of you are. So this video will provide you the basics to better understand insider threat risk and how you play an integral role in keeping our employees and facilities safe, while at the same time protecting our sensitive data. So what exactly is an insider threat? Well, let's start off with a definition. And to do that, may I present a dramatic reading of insider threat defined. An insider threat is a threat to an organization that either causes or intends to cause harm to an organization's employees, facilities, data, or reputation. It occurs through someone who has authorized access to data, systems, or facilities. Insider threats can be caused by employees, contractors, or third-party vendors, and can be malicious or can arise out of negligence or error. TLDR, people with access doing harm. People with access doing harm. After a number of big insider threat security breaches in the previous decade, investigators recognized patterns many of these insiders had in common prior to their big heist. Insider threat training programs were then built around these patterns, which are commonly referred to as indicators of an insider threat, in order to inform employees so they could watch for and report coworkers demonstrating these characteristics. Indicators include attempting to access unauthorized locations or data, discontent with supervisors, disloyalty to the organization, inappropriate use of social media, working unusual hours, unexplained personal spending. Wow, some of those indicators are kind of personal. It's our belief for an insider threat program to be effective, it needs to align with an organization's culture. So where does suspicion fit into our culture of transparency, assuming positive intent, and collaboration? It doesn't. To tackle insider threat issues here at our organization, here's what we believe. Assume positive intent. Our security investigations always start here and only change once there's a solid reason to believe someone was up to something nefarious. More times than not, human error is the culprit. We believe in transparency. We tell you what we're watching and enforcing and want it to be a two-way dialogue. Always. Not just when there's a problem. That means if you believe data may have gotten into the wrong hands, let us know right away so our investigations team can try to mitigate the risk. We will never shame you when reporting mistakes, and we'll work with you on solutions to guard against such human errors. You may recall our policies outline that everything you create during your tenure here and on your work assets belongs to the company. We have advanced technologies that allow us to see data movement across environments. So if you have a business reason to move data to another device, drive, or cloud service, let our IT and security teams know so we don't investigate unnecessarily. And so we can provide guidance on the safest way to move that data. If employees are failing with security, we as a security team need to do more to help them succeed. As a security team, we hold ourselves accountable. We collaborate with all aspects of the business and ask that you collaborate with us too. We aren't asking you to police your workmates, but we are counting on you for sound judgment and to ask for clarification if you're unsure. So here's how you can help. Get ahead of the risks. If you have a business reason to move data outside our sanctioned corporate environment, please let our IT or security teams know beforehand. Protect our data. Data that is created here 
belongs to our company and should be handled, used, and stored using approved applications, repositories, and tools. This means using extra caution when sharing sensitive information so as not to share it with anyone who does not have a business need to access that information. Avoid using personal storage. Did you know adding personal storage accounts to your work device can accidentally result in company data being uploaded to your personal account? It can. So work with IT to help you get set up to properly access what you need for work and keep personal data separate. It's also not okay to bring intellectual property of other companies into our environment without the explicit permission of our legal department. If you need to upload data from, say, a previous employer, coordinate with your manager and check with the legal department if you're unsure whether uploading such data is legally permissible. Ask before you take. Work you created or collaborated on during your tenure here is company property. Personal photos are yours and you should have those. If you're planning on taking data, just inform the security team and your manager on what you want to take before you actually move it, just to make sure we're all on the same page. We count on you to know right from wrong when it comes to securing our company and our data. If you see something that you believe is a risk to the company, our facilities, or our employees, discuss it with the individual, your manager, your exec, HR, or with the security team. If any of those options are uncomfortable or challenging for you, report anonymously through our ethics helpline. Lots of things in security can be automated, but you are not one of them. So be you, be secure, and report concerns.